Hi everyone, in this video we are going to see how to send email from Skill Server. This feature is very, really very helpful to send email about the SQL Server performance, SQL Server backups and other activities. To configure email, we need to go to the SQL Server Management Studio. Okay. In the SQL Server Management Studio, inside the management, we have an option called database mail. In the database email, mail, we need to right click and click configure database mail. Click next button. To configure email profile, you need to click the first option. Okay, here you need to set up uh, SFTP, email preference, everything you need to configure in this option. Okay, click next. This uh, option is used to manage the already existing, already created profile and accounts. As of now, I don't have any account. That's why I select this option. Okay, click. Here I give profile name. For example, demo. Okay. To add SMTP accounts, click add button. Here you need to click account, account name. My app name, demo, xyz, at gmail.com. From this email account, we are going to send email. Okay. Here, display name, at xyz, at gmail.com. Then server name. This is the SFTP server name. I am using gmail.com so I will give gmail smtp gmail.com then I will give the port number 587 smtp at gmail.com so smtp ok this is the secure one that's why I give the port number 587 if you are using non secure your own smtp you can give 25 I select basic authentication, give the email ID, username as a email ID, password. Okay. Then click OK. okay. It's validating. Okay. Now click next. Here I select public profile. It means it's available for all, all the user account in this SQL Server. Then the default profile, yes. While sending email, if you are not sending profile name, by default this profile name will be taken. Okay, I will explain later in the PPT. Next. Okay, if your email is first time is failed, how many times how many times you reattempt for this only this count? And how many after how many seconds you'll be going to react attempt to send then attachment file size then what are the file extension with support like this then these are the optional things okay these are the configuration we already configured then I click finish button okay now database mail is configured now we can use this configuration this profile okay for testing purpose they given an option called send testing email click this one here I will give my email email ID okay send test email click this click this button and automatically the email Sent to this address, to address with the body of the content is this is the test email from sent from the database email on blah blah blah. Okay, that's it. Now email is configured. Okay, the real time scenario we need to send email from your store processor. Okay, for example. Uh, 
this is a simple scenario it's a sample one okay this is not real real time it's not useful but i will explain for example i have a table called employee this uh, employee table top one user daily morning 6 o'clock system need to send an email for this you got to write this sp and configure this in sql server jobs okay daily morning this job is executed at the time SP send DB email. Store procedure have a five parameter profile name. The profile name you have to mention the profile name. For example, that time you demo the recipient name is there, which come from database. Okay, subject email from SQL Server. This is the my first email sent from SQL Server. Importance high. Then automatically daily morning, whenever the SQL Server jobs executing, the email sent to the recipient. 